So this used to be a lumber area where they just had logs and logs of lumber. And that's the museum now, which has great hours, great Wi-Fi too. They've really, the Lumber Baron's descendants have really supplied this museum with funding. Good funding to stay open for long hours. And, and good, good Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna check out the coast a little bit, because uh, this used to be all uh, the lumber property. And as far as I understand, it's, it might be polluted, too polluted to develop on right now, because these uh, trees are, are said to be toxic. And cutting them up and letting them sit on property like this leeches the trees into the ground. And I mean, the vegetation looks fine. But you gotta, you gotta play precautions. Wow, they actually built a pier that extended from this land all the way over onto that rock over there. That's incredible. They built a wooden pier and it burnt down in the 1930s. And it, it hopped, okay, it started, I don't know, somewhere around here and then it hopped those those few rocks over there into that onto that main rock and it actually wrapped around the main rock to the front so that was a very long pier that extended all the way down from this from this part of the land another view it's so dangerous so dangerous if you fall down wow i don't want to get too close it feels like so easy to slip down. It's beautiful. All this is beautiful. There's little caves in some of these rocks. There's trees growing on individual rocks. Not that one over there. So beautiful, but wow. So daunting. Amazing. Just amazing. So dangerous. So beautiful. Wow, see the cliff face, and they had the bridge, I had, the bridge was below somewhere, they, I mean they wouldn't want to build it so high up here, see there another rock face, just several juts of, of rock that stand out, incredible, amazing, beautiful, extraordinary. And you can see kind of the cut in, they cut into the side of that rock so they could build their pier to extend out there for the lumber ships. Just incredible. Ah, here, here's, this is probably a relic of the past. Okay. Oh my God. Oh. That is so scary. That's such a, such a scary drop down. Incredible. Wow. They have a knotted rope so you could go down to the bottom there if you dare. That's a nice thick bottom knotted rope. rope. That's tempting. Again, I'm not sure if I got this section, but this is just amazing. And you see a, a seagull just kind of swimming by itself. You can see the seaweed. There's large patches of brown intermixed with blue and I think that brown is is the seaweed some of it pokes above the water but much of it is just below it's something else to look at really fascinating really amazing elk is a quite a tourist a quite a sightseeing area there is some caves wow so to go down there would be really cool um, I'm not sure if it's high tide or low tide again I can never tell and then it's just the grassland up here. All right, so I dropped my iPod trying to pull it out and it came down to here. Um, but yeah, I was just gonna say that I can grab tree ropes for extra protection. This is very treacherous. All right, so I'm just complaining a little bit. This uh, iPod slid down the sands about maybe 15 feet. And now I can't uh, press the home button. I think sand got lodged in there and I can't seem to shake it out. I don't know how to get it out. I've been blowing and shaking it. 
But I got down here. I can the, the power button works at least. I just can't use my home button anymore. Whoa, <laughs> this is slippery. All these all this green is making it slippery, I think. Oh there's two scuba divers out over there. They left their back but they put their backpack up on the rocks. So I'm guessing they came down the same way I did. Whoa, that's a big wave. All right, I kind of want to get over here, take a look at these weird caves, but it is slippery at points. <gasps> oh, you, you step on the right seaweed and you could slip easy. So beautiful though. See, it's very clear, very clean. <clears throat> And it works with, I don't even know if, oh no, no, the audio should work. So there's a lot of, a lot of water flow. It's hard to tell if it's high tide, low tide. Oh, that's quite a wave coming in. A little bit of a cave you can go through here. Looks like the water rushes up to this point. Kind of a... A tunnel cave looks really pretty. Very tall cliff, maybe a hundred feet up, up above. Wow, that's a mighty, mighty wave. This water is so pristine. I like the gray rock. Very grayish. Oh my god. Oh jeez. Oh. Oh. Well I slipped and got my foot all wet. Some kind of a weird bird call. About the last piece of evidence from the early 1900s when they had this pier that went on the right side. All along here they had a pier that wrapped around and went to the land. This wooden post is about the last remnant of it. Apparently it went up in flames. <laughs> I was told that the guy, a guy was out there, uh, start, started a fire to keep warm and burnt up the whole pier.